today's video, we'll be showing you how to buy a used snowmobile and make sure that you are not going to get ripped off. Although you could be asking the right questions to the sellers, they might be hiding things from you. So there's a few telltale things on a snowmobile that you'll be able to look for to see if it has been abused, if it has been damaged, or if the seller has taken well care of the snowmobile. Your first item on your inspection list is to just do a quick walkthrough of the snowmobile. Look around the snowmobile, make sure there are no damages, no cracked fairings, no dents in the tunnel, and make sure there are no uh, damage to the front of the skis. Because if there's damage to the front, you know that either it's been A, run into a tree, or B, it's been ridden very, very hard. When inspecting the front of the snowmobile, you'll want to look at some of the components as the suspension, the A-arms, as well as your skis and carbides. With your suspension, you will know if it's been ridden hard if when you go on the snowmobile, you'll see that there's excessive play in the actual suspension. If it's a little bit loose or if it's a little bit soft, you can tell that maybe it has a little bit more riding time on it. With respect to the A-arms, you'll want to make sure that both of the arms are not bent. If they are bent, this can mean that it's been ridden very aggressively or it has been actually hit into a tree. The next thing you'll want to look for in a snowmobile is lifting the skis and looking at the bottom carbides. If the carbides don't look like they're too deep, that can be indicative of someone not doing their maintenance or someone riding on roads quite a lot and not changing the bottom of their carbides. Moving towards the middle of the snowmobile, two things that you'll want to look for after taking off your left side cover is your oil color as well as your clutch belt. So these two things can mean that A, the snowmobile has been ridden hard, and B, it can tell you if the actual seller has taken well good care of their snowmobile. When taking a look at the oil color, take out your dipstick and look at the color of the oil. Yes, the oil will have a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, but after only a thousand kilometers of riding, your oil can turn black and it does show. So if the seller has not done an oil change within the past thousand kilometers, you can tell if the seller has maintained their sled. Next, you're going to take off your clutch cover housing. So this will show you the belt. So you can take a look at the belt there. After taking it off, you're just going to want to visually inspect the belt, look at the teeth and look and see if there's been a lot of wear. If there's a lot of wear, it could mean that the sled has been ridden aggressively or it could mean that maybe the sled is a little bit higher mileage. Since this sled only has 3000 kilometers on it, the belt is fairly new. When having the side door and clutch cover off, you'll be able to see the engine. So with this, you'll be able to just take a flashlight and check if there's any oil around the engine, if there's any oil on the clutch, if there's any oil on the belt. And this will be indicative of maybe if there's a, a little oil leak or something wrong with the engine, you'll be able to tell based on if there's any oil or if there's any leaking coming around the engine. The reason why you want to check these maintenance items is because on ski doo sleds or on any sled, you're able to change the instrument gauge cluster to reset the kilometers. So they could put whatever kilometers they want on it to maybe lie or sell their sled a little bit quicker because it is a little bit of an older sled. So checking these little things around a sled will really be able to tell the age of the sled and how hard or how many hours have been ridden on it. A couple of things that you'll need to be checking when you come to the rear of the sled will be the tunnel. So you'll be able to take a flashlight and visually inspect if the tunnel has any damage in it. You're gonna to wanna to check the paddles on the sled. If the paddles are very worn down, that'll tell you that the track is pretty has a lot of kilometers on it. Uh, another thing that you will wanna look at are your sliders, your bearings, and the actual wear on the inside of the, uh, the track. So where your sliders go and where your sliders slide on the inside of a sled, some tracks have a metal glide, some tracks don't. If they do or don't have a slider, you could tell based on the, the scratches on the metal if the sliders are coming or wearing or if they're wearing unevenly on the track. If the seller has all of his service records and all the snowmobile checks out, if you can take it for a test drive, that'll be the tell all if all the snowmobile parts are all in good working order. When you go for a test drive and if you can, you don't have to get on it, but make sure when you go for a ride to test the suspension, look at the front and the rear of the suspension. When you're giving it throttle, make sure the clutch is engaging properly at around 3000 RPM if you're riding a ski doo and on some other sleds it might be lower. But make sure the clutch is engaging properly and then actually make sure that the sliders, they, uh, the sliders and bearings can make a little bit of sound at the start of the season because they don't have enough lubrication on it. It uses the snow as lubrication for the track. So it could be a little bit noisy, but that's not a tell all to say that the snowmobile is not in good working order. If all of the items in the snowmobile check out, you're sure that you are buying a well-maintained and well-kept snowmobile. 
If any of these parts or any of these wear and tear serviceable items are damaged or need replacing, you could bring that up to the seller and that is a great negotiating point to bring the price down a little bit more. But once you find a good price point between you and the seller, you're ready to hit the trails.